continue on a day in the life adventure. Just got off of work. Let's go see what we can get into. So guys, it's a day in the life today. And today at work, I was in training for like five hours. It took forever. I stared at spreadsheets for like eight. It was horrible. So I said to my wife, I sent her a text and I said, hey, we should get out today and go walking. Do you know what she said to me? Can I take my camera? <laughs> As always. <laughs> so today we're out here at Freeman Lake. We're gonna try to get some photography shots and give you a little bit of our day in the life. Ooh, <laughs> check out the lending library on your way back. They got good stuff? Okay. Not bad, she said. Mm -hmm. They've got a box set up where you can donate books, and it's a weatherproof box, so you can open it up and check it out. And if there's any books in there that you like, you can uh, borrow them, bring back, and, hey, and stock your own, which is pretty cool because then there's always books available. It's kind of neat. We found a couple of books in there that we've liked so far. And it's just located here at the park. Look at the little lace flowers. This is a lot of our exercise we get. Is uh, me walking and then stopping because she wants to take photographs. It's absolutely amazing. But the view is nice. Yes, we will most certainly insert some photos in the video. That's my passion. She likes to carry around the camcorder. Well, I like to carry around the big hoon and taking photos. Technically, I used to do photography. And it's kind of funny because it's something that she used to do as like a side job. And then one day I came home and I was like, you know, Eric at work showed me this really neat camera and I'm kind of interested in trying it out. And my wife, being the wonderful wife that she is, literally that night purchased this camera for me which is kind of cool um, so now i have this camera so now i have this camera that we use when we go out and i uh, take lots of shots of flowers birds and animals and leaves plants and trees <laughs> but it's funny that it was her hobby or her side job when she was younger yet it's me that's always like oh look let me stop and take a photo <laughs> You don't know how many times I've pulled off the side of the road or made her pull off to the side of the road to get a shot of turkeys or hawks or whatever. Now I will tell you guys, just for just for a side note here, when I did photography as a side job, and I loved it, don't get me wrong, absolutely loved it. I did it with 35 millimeter film. <laughs> Not to show my age, but I was a 35 millimeter gal. So you had a uh, little bit of talent, a lot of luck, and a hope and a prayer because you never knew what you got nowadays i think she sells herself short because i feel like that required a lot more you had to have a lot better eye so in my infinite wisdom i packed the camera but i forgot a battery we're now on the uh phone phone because i'm an idiot what can I say? Idiot. <laughs> Thankfully, that phone has a pretty good camera. Thankfully. <laughs> Not as good as the other. But it'll work in a pinch. This view around us. We just walked into the shade and it's amazing in here. The temperature dropped like 25 degrees, don't you think? Oh, every bit. Oh, gosh. Let me bring you around to this. Last time we were out here, it was really cloudy. Shoot over the edge and look straight down at us. <laughs> what the what? Can you see me now? I'm really bummed the battery died. 
telling you, we're not that far, we can go get one. Oh, he's still alive. Is he really? Are Hold on, we may have to do a rescue. Oh, the joys of having a camera on your phone to record with, because you miss so much. You didn't get to see, because it didn't record, the rescue of a fish. There was a little fish up on the bank, flopping, barely hanging on, and I handed my wife the phone to record. And I picked the little guy up and put him back in the water, and he took off like a little boat, super excited. I named him Fred. We had an emotional bond. But you didn't get any of that, because my camera didn't record it. But Fred appreciates you. Would have been nice if I could have had Fred on film. Yeah. He was very photogenic. We just didn't catch it. Do you notice the trend here? I handed you my phone to record it, and you packed the bag to the cameras. Oh. I'm just saying, clearly I can't hand her the camera. Because Fred was a cute little thing. Took off like a little boat. I guess the water dropped a little suddenly than they uh, might have expected. Because uh, he was on the edge and looked like he was on his last little fin. Telling his other fish friends how his life flashed before his fins. And then this giant come along and saved him. I also tried to save another little fish who was wee tiny, tiny little guy. Unfortunately, his time had already expired and he just sank to the bottom. And what I thought was a gill moving apparently was just the wind rustling or something. But, nah, such is life. <laughs> I guess I was so about to say. This is the most translucent fish I've ever seen in my life. But like, apparently I'm turning into Jigging with Jordan and, and Yappy Twan Twan because that's... River treasure, river treasure. I, I have found river treasure next to, the next to the stream. But I'm not gonna leave it there. As they have taught me, always pick up fishing lures. I'm not much of a fisherman, but hey. I'm going to pick it up anyway, because someone could get hurt on that hook. You could accidentally catch Fred on that, and then what? You could ac- that's exactly right. You could accidentally catch Fred on that. You have family to protect. Let's come look at that. What did you find, Boof? I don't know. Is that one of those I spy with my little eye? Yeah, it's like almost an engagement ring that's uh it's quite a rock quite a rock <laughs> not one she's gonna be getting that would have been a beautiful shot yep fungus murder that's what we're all about here fungus murders fungi make great photos one of my favorite favorite items to photograph fungus really i mean i like mushrooms my mom liked mushrooms she didn't like to eat them, but she liked to collect things with mushrooms on them. I just thought that was weird. That is actually kind of weird if she didn't like them. I know, I'm like, if you think if you're going to like something, or you think you were going to collect something, it'd be something you'd appreciate, you'd like. Nope. Never ate the things. So guys, just to close this up again, just a short video to bring you, us, our day in a life, which is never dull. We have come to find out as we walked out of the house with being ill properly prepared. She walked out initially, forgot the kahuna, as we call it, which is the big camera. Um, we managed to get all the way to the park and start videoing and realized that we didn't bring extra batteries for the uh, vlogging camera. Um, and lost a great shot. Lost a great shot with Fred. Uh, just, there's never a dull moment with us. I mean, I tell you, it, it never seems to matter. We always find something to get into or something that we're in. We hope you enjoyed the video. As always, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button if you like the video. We appreciate it. We like seeing those like buttons. It lets us know you enjoy the content. And also, as always, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. 
click it there at the end. It'll be at the very end. It's the little Libouf symbol. Click that button. Subscribe to our channel. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers. We appreciate you watching our videos. We definitely love making them for you. And hopefully, you keep coming back. I'll keep coming back. And it shakes, 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 shakes because I'm doing it on the phone. Stupid road. Uneven. Stupid road. What's the county doing? Where are my tax money going? Where's my tax money going? You're getting my taxes fixed by roads. Fix my roads. They're really not that bad. Unless, of course, you're trying to film on your handheld, you know, phone. And they're not so great. But anyway, guys, closing this out. Thanks again, everybody. We love you guys. We should and, have bought um, a chicken. And apparently we should have bought a chicken. And that's Bye. what I'm closing out on. Bye.